Hi everyone, welcome to Play Hooky with me. My name is Roz, and today I thought it would be fun to make a super easy crochet Santa hat. This is very beginner friendly. We're only using single crochets to complete the entire hat. I would say it'll probably take about an hour, hour and a half tops to complete. As always, there are timestamps below so you can jump to your point of interest. So yeah, let's go ahead and play some hooky. For this pattern, I used Red Heart Super Saver Metallic in red. I used two strands to work it up since it's so thin. I just really like that metallic sheen to it. Along with that, I did use an 8 millimeter hook. The required hook size is a 5.5 millimeter, but I used 8 because I did two strands and it worked really well. If you have a nice chunky red yarn that requires an 8 or a 9 hook, that would work well for this pattern as well. You may not like working double like this, but it's very easy to do. For the brim, I use this gorgeous royal velvet yarn in the color white. Now the required hook size for this was a 19 millimeter and I didn't need that at all. I just went ahead and used the 8 millimeter that I used for the uh, base of the hat in the red. Uh, it worked perfectly fine. If you're having any trouble with the 8, just move up to a 9, but I really don't think you'll have any issues. Before you get started, I would recommend that you take a tape measure and measure your head circumference or the head circumference of whoever you're going to be making this for. Take your tape measure and right above the ears, wrap it from forehead to back, just completely around your head. I had about a 19 to 20 head circumference. So when you fold the hat to the side, mine came out to about nine, nearly 10 inches wide. The brim here is actually in the same stitch count as the red. It just looks wider because I used a larger yarn. Recently, I did a witch's hat for Halloween, and this would work up great for a Santa hat as well. The only main difference between these two is that the witch's hat I did in multiples of six, which made it wider, quicker, and there is an increase in the brim as well. But just for comparison, I wanted to show you the Santa hat here. As you can see, it is narrower. That's because I wanted it to be able to fold over. But if you like the wideness of the witch's hat, just go ahead and follow that pattern and then omit the brim because the brim is done in increases and it's not necessary for this hat. It does look like I increased on this, but I didn't. It's just because the yarn is thicker. Okay, so we're going to start with a magic circle to get the hat started. If you don't like doing a magic circle, you can chain three with a slip stitch and be sure to carry the tail as you do this first round and then that way you can cinch it closed like a magic circle. We're going to be working this in multiples of three. We're going to start with six single crochets then working from that to 9 to 12 to 15 and so on. Okay, six single crochets to begin in your magic circle. One, two, three, six. Let's go ahead and tighten that center. We are going to be working in continuous rounds, so we're not going to slip stitch to close this. We're going to get ourselves a stitch marker, and you can place it either in the first loop to start, or you can put it in the finishing loop here. I like to add it to the finishing loop. For some reason, that's just more logical for me to keep my count going properly. Some people like to put a little strand of yarn right in between the rounds. Do whatever is easiest for you. Okay, we're working on the next round. We're going to go from six to nine. To do that, we're going to do one single crochet and then an increase in the second stitch and repeat that all the way around. One, increase. That just means we're doing two single crochets into the same stitch. One. And increase. One, a 
And here's a quick tip for the increase rounds, you'll always finish with an increase. So keep that in mind. If you don't finish on an increase, you know you need to go back and see where you skipped a stitch. One and two for the increase. Double check now that you have nine stitches. And for the next round, we're just going to complete the same stitch count. We're going to do another round of nine. Okay. And at this point, your work may be curling up like it is on me. Just go ahead and fold it. This is the point of your hat. To begin round four, we're going to be doing another increase round. So now we're going from nine to 12. We did one single crochet with an increase before, and this round we're going to do two single crochets with an increase. One, two, increase. One, two, and finishing on an increase. Great. Okay, and for row five, we're just going to do single crochets in each stitch around, equaling 12. Okay, and we're now back onto another increase row. For round six, we're going to go from 12 single crochets to 15. So in the previous increase, we did two single crochets with an increase. This time we're going to do three single crochets with an increase. And I'm sure you can see the pattern that's emerging, right? We're doing an increase round and then a regular round. Increase round and then a regular round. And you just continue doing this until you reach your desired circumference. So let's go ahead and do one more sequence together and then I'll add a cheat sheet for you guys to refer to. You can just pause it or screenshot it or jot down some notes. It's super easy once you get the hang of this. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, increase, Now let's do one round in single crochets all the way around. That'll give us another round of 15. Once you've gotten to your required head circumference, now it's time to fasten off. What I like to do is I just clip quite a long tail. I thread the ends through the loop to give a bit of a knot. And then I just weave in the end. I just do this a couple of times. I'm going to leave this end and weave it in later. I do that because I found when I go in and weave it, it's kind of hard to see where I need to put my brim. So I just do two stitches along and then I leave the rest for later. 
To add the brim, it is super easy. We're not going to be doing any increasing or anything. We're just going to do three to four rounds of the white with single crochets. Now I am using quite a large yarn here for this, and that is why it does help it to kind of increase on its own just because of the size of the yarn. If you decide to use the same weight yarn as your hat, uh, base here and you're finding that it didn't grow as much as you would like I will continue on with an increase just to help widen it a little bit if you find that it's too tight I don't think you'll have that problem but just in case you go with a smaller yarn give that a try I like to attach in the same location that way I can just keep the attachments in the back so they're not as eye-catching I just yarn over and create a little bit of a slip stitch and then a chain one for that first stitch. And now I'm just going to single crochet all the way around. This yarn feels so good to work with, let me tell you. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. And like before, we're just going to go into the next round. I'm going to go ahead and add my little stitch marker to that last stitch. Now this is a little bit harder to work with, but if you just feel with your fingers, you'll feel where your loops are to go into the next stitch. You can see quite easily where your next stitches need to go. Okay, we're coming up to the last stitch again. Okay, and then just keep doing this continuously until you get the brim width that you want. For mine, I did three rounds. You may prefer two like this, or you might like four. And when you've completed your rounds, just go ahead and slip stitch into your final round. Clip your yarn and then weave in your end. For the pom-pom, I decided to go with a store-bought one. I got this at Michael's. It's a loops and threads pom-pom, very inexpensive. I did initially make one with the same yarn as the brim, and I really love how soft and squishy it is, but unfortunately it just sheds like crazy, and I didn't think it was good for the long term. Now, if the shedding is not an issue for you, what I did was I took the yarn and wrapped it around the palm of my hand for 50 rounds. Pulled it off my hand, secured it with another strand of yarn, and then clipped the loops. There are plenty of videos on how to make a pom-pom, so I would just check that out. To attach a pom-pom, it's pretty easy. If you decide to make your own and you have the two strands left over, I would suggest that you just go in with a needle, a tapestry needle, and in different sections of the tip of the hat, just feed in the yarn, go inside and do a double knot, and you should be good to go. If you decide to do a store-bought one like I did, this is a bit weird. I'm not quite sure the purpose of this. Maybe someone can explain it to me. But because I didn't really know how to handle it, I just decided to take a piece of yarn matching the base of the hat. And I added this to a darning needle. Feed that through the center of the hat. And as you can see, I still have the tails from making the hat, and I just took these two and knotted it together. I didn't touch this. I don't clip that just in case I want to reuse it for something else. And that worked well for me.